everybody a hot plate. Cat hammock. Hello! Welcome to our campsite. This is just how we do things. Everybody does camping a little bit differently, but I love this place because one, it does not have any service. So there is no Wi-Fi connection. You can come up here with your family and they can't use the internet. It really gets you away from technology. Let's take a tour of the camp. There are several camping sites here. There's one where the car is here. This one, there's a few in the back of it, and then this one, and then there's also one right here that's right next to this stream. I don't know if there are fish in there. I'm gonna go take a little mountain ice bath later. I really love doing those kind of ice baths or stream baths, as I like to call them, just because it makes me feel so invigorated and alive our camping trailer. So this is my little bathroom. I like this little bathroom area because it has this opening at the top um, where you can air it out. And then there's also this opening. You can unzip this and then string in like a shower if you're um, gonna be at a certain area for a long period of time. So I call this place Queenie because this is also where I have my toilet. This just flips up and then there's like a plastic collection bag in the bottom. And then I have a spot for toilet paper. And then this is the spot for unused toilet paper. A bucket outside with some water in it and a bar of soap. And then I just use the line to secure the bathroom um, to hang the towel. So I've got a cooler here, a little wash basin for doing dishes, the Coleman camping stove, which it's pretty sufficient if you only have a few people. If there's several of you, then you definitely want more than one of these so that you can get everybody a hot plate. And then it just cooks, uh, connects to one of these propane tanks. And then a big bucket of water. And then I just string my towel here garbage and then kitchen supplies. I do have a solar panel with a battery in the back here to use to charge my phone and, and other camera equipment. Here's the happiest puppy in the world. Do you have your frisbee? So this is where I did a little clothesline. I just used some rope. You can get it from any like Walmart or sporting goods store, but you just tie it to a couple of trees or if there aren't a bunch of trees around, you can do it between two cars. And it's a good way to dry off your clothing and towels and things if you are doing a lot of water activities, which I do a lot of because I love being in the water. This is Meadow Hot Springs right near Fish Lake National Forest. I really like coming here. There's about three pools. The first two that you come to, they're not really the best ones, but the third one is pretty hot. Make sure to bring your snorkel gear because there are little tadpoles that you can watch and observe and chase. It's kind of fun to see them operating in their little micro world. We settled in for the night and the next morning I woke up to this beautiful scene. I love being a part of nature and 
hearing the birds chirping and having my dog with me and just going through the routine of making breakfast, you know, having this self-reliance where I have everything that I need. It's just a very relaxing feeling being out in nature and feeling that it's healed. So after a quick cleanup, it was time to relax and just be present in the moment. So one of the things that I really love the most about camping is being able to string up my hammock. I always have such good memories when I was a kid of taking a nap in a hammock and so now it's like a must do every time I go camping or every time there's a tree available where I could do it so I will see you guys later. I started to notice these fall leaves that were around the camp and I thought how wonderful is it that they survived the whole winter and yet they still re retain their color. More on that soon. Time for the mountain spring bath. This water is so cold because it's all completely snow runoff. But I just love the feeling and you really do feel clean when you come out. I would not drink the water, however. Oh, mountain springs are so cold, but so wonderful. It felt really good. As the day went on, it was time to warm up of our last fire for the night. These are some of my favorite moments I've caught throughout our camping trip here. So pretty. After our meal, I decided to go out and take a few pictures and caught these geese. Just so wonderful to observe nature, to take some photos, and just be in the moment. So when I was a kid, we had hammocks. 